Hello and welcome back to Always Right, the podcast with me, your host, Charlie Wright. Today I'm here with Kelsey and Bridget. Hi. <laughs> How is everyone? Pretty good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for those elaborate answers. <laughs> I feel like I ask people that every time they come on my show, they're like, I'm good. What do you want me to say? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, fair, I guess. Yeah. But um, living the dream. <laughs> totally, you know, living, laughing, loving. Um, <laughs> um, uh, we have a game to play, but before we get into that, um, I was going to bring up um, how... <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't do it. But I was going to bring up how, Kelsey, you keep inviting me to things at the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't end up coming. But I think like, the problem is I like I need to explain to you that like I I in my brain I can't just be like You need I'm... three to five business days. <laughs> I do. I do. I just not see the problem is I would love to be spontaneous and like I am, but it's just like if I, I have to get on a train for like forty minutes to get somewhere, it's like it's a process. You know what I mean? Okay, well, look. <laughs> you don't like that answer. <laughs> if someone messaged me and was like, we are out adventuring, jump on a train, and in 40 minutes you'll be with us, that w- that's all me. I'd be like, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'll be there in 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, but you, my problem is, is that I feel like you obviously speak to Bridget and you're like, like let's meet up so i'm like why don't you involve me in that (laughs) and then that way i know about it beforehand you know what i mean like how much time prior to like meeting up did bridget know that last time when we went to we went to some (laughs) expo thing um, i just watched it on tass's vlog yeah 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 um i mean we had it was probably like a week's notice but like we didn't no hold on (laughs) hold on (laughs) on. because we were going to that and it was kind of like oh we might go out for drinking after but we're just kind of gonna like we thought oh we'll go for dinner and then at dinner we were like all right let's go drink (laughs) okay uh okay that makes a lot more sense because i just assume it's like you just like randomly showing up in the city and being like to Bridget, Hey, come to the city right now. And then Bridget comes. And then I'm like, well, like what, what's going on? But I was wrong, obviously. But next time. Yeah. That's also what Kelsey said. She's like, Oh, it's never planned. We just show up. I'm like, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do that. Um, I think the postie is here. Oh my God. You can go check it. Thank you. I'll just talk to Bridget. What did you say? He He circled back to our house. Like, oh, I forgot. Gotta go back. Yeah, maybe. Um, Oh. (laughs) Kadira is speaking. One time I was recording a podcast and, like, my Blue Yeti microphone, like, this microphone that I use, like, was delivered in the middle of recording. And then I answered the door and the person was like, oh, are you going to test the microphone? And I'm like, no, I think that'll, like, fuck this whole thing up. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I still had my headphones in, so I could still hear you guys. And you might We weren't talking it. about you. <laughs> no, 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 I, I, I know. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, you guys, I heard what you were saying. <laughs> but oh, well. anyway, yes, yeah, soon we should do something planned. <laughs> potentially wait did i ask you did i ask you about no i don't think i did i think i'm gonna have a new year's eve party did i already ask you about that i'm working new year's eve oh i'm on night shift oh that sucks yeah see i everyone i ask is like yeah i don't really know what i'm doing i'm like (laughs) okay that's not helpful because the problem is i don't want to like say that i'm having a party and then I invite all these people and then random people who don't know each other are the only ones that show up. I'm like, it's not really a party. So I need people to be like, yes or no. 
<laughs> which is annoying. Well, I'm a no, so. <laughs> okay, good to know. Bridget, what are you doing here, Zee? Um, I'm working as well. Oh. But only until nine, I think it was. Oh. Yeah. See, the problem for you is, though, you live so far away from me. Yeah. Although Kelsey does too. So, like, what is that? A little further. <laughs> but yeah, way further. Anyway, well, I'm just going to have no friends on New Year's Eve. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so, today we are playing a game of the newlywed game. Are you excited? I like how he, I like how I say, "Are you excited?" When I've already sent you the questions and you've like already filled it out. Um, yeah, and Bridget and I actually <laughs> caught up today, and we like, oh. avoided talking about it. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, don't like discuss what your answers were. Yeah, we've we've shared everything. There's gonna be no point to the podcast. <laughs> okay, we right. already know all the answers. Wonderful. Um, so I'm just gonna say, first of all, there's a very clear winner. I'm not going to tell you who it, I'm not going to tell you who it is. But, um, and then some of the questions. It'll be you, Bridget. I'm not, I'm not revealing that information, but some of the questions you both like answered like vaguely or specifically. And for some of them, I didn't count that as a point, but maybe we can discuss it. And if you can convince me that it should be a point, I'll give it to you. Okay. So. Uh, there are 15 questions, um, and there are like three different sections. So the first section. Why am I nervous? Why I don't know. <laughs> You've already answered the questions. It's not like you have to like come up with. It. Like, remember last time we were talking about who was more competitive? Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's <just> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so gotta win. The first question was beach or snow. So I'm going to ask each of you what your answer. Should I ask you what your answer was or should I ask you what you think the other person said? As in, when you say what the other person said, do you mean what the other person said for themselves? (laughs) I'm just going to ask you, Kelsey, what did you say for yourself? And then Bridget, what did you say for yourself? And then based on that, we could talk about what you, what you think the other person said. I have it all written down and printed, so it's okay. Okay. So I yeah, Kelsey, go first. I said beach, but I think that Bridget would have said snow for me. And Bridget, what did you yeah, say? Yeah, I said beach for myself, but I said snow for Kelsey. She gets okay. <laughs> yeah, but see, the problem with this is, is like, I did, I gave you the point for that, Kelsey, but like, so you answered beach for yourself, but you knew that Bridget would say snow. So I'm like, why didn't you just pick snow? <laughs> Aren't I meant to answer what I think? You are, but if you had answered snow, Bridget would have got a So, like, currently, Kelsey, you have a point and Bridget doesn't because you got it right for Bridget, but she didn't get it right for you. You understand? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I knew she'd so get it's... it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted all along. Because... <laughs> If I'd known that, I would have been more strategic. <laughs> um, yeah, don't know how that went. Um, the next one <laughs> is... Um, in a horror movie, would you be the first to die, die somewhere in the middle, or the sole survivor? So, Kelsey, what did you say for yourself? I'm going to have to bring up my own answers because I don't remember. <laughs> I have them for you. Do you okay. want me to tell you? I think, I think I said myself, didn't I? No, that's not... Oh, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, wrong question. I said the middle. Yep. So, Bridget, what did you say? I said soul survivor. Yeah. And, but then Kelsey Kelsey said that you would say you would be in the middle. So, Kelsey, you got it wrong. Yeah. And then, Bridget, you said, you said Kelsey was somewhere in the middle. So, you got it right. Yeah. So, that's a point for Bridget. No point for Kelsey. Next one. So we're, we're one all, right? We're yeah. one, all. one all. Yes. Um, I think Bridget's but, gonna win. <laughs> but Bridget, why do you think you'd be the sole survivor? I think it'll be like a dumb luck kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah, true. Yeah, just, <laughs> like no stumble through it and not know how. <laughs> true. Okay. Next one. Cats or dogs? Kelsey. I said dogs. Bridget. I said cats. 
Yeah. And then you both said for the other person for Kelsey was dogs and then Bridget was cats. So you both got it right. So it's a point each. So now you're on two points each. Okay. Next one. If you accidentally killed someone, would you confess immediately or take it to the grave? Kelsey? I said confess. Bridget? <laughs> yeah, I said confess too. Yes. No! <laughs> um, but, yeah, but then Kelsey, you said that Bridget would take it to the grave and then in brackets, but she'd tell Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You think that's more true? Do you think, why do you think she would take it to the grave? I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like she would, but she'd tell Chelsea. <laughs> I, yeah, Bridget, if you killed someone, would you tell Chelsea? Oh, yeah. I'll tell her first. But, like, <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't keep that a secret. I'll feel way too guilty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Bridget, you got it right, and Kelsey, you got it wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next one. Uh, would you rather be burned at the stake or freeze to death? So, Kelsey, what did you say? Freeze. Bridget? Is it burned at the stake? Yeah, so, <sighs> yeah, Kelsey, you got it wrong. You said that Bridget would freeze. And then, Bridget, <laughs> you said that Kelsey would freeze to death. So, you got it right. So, when I woke up this morning and I was thinking about these questions, I did actually think, oh, Bridget would have said burn. And I, it, I don't know why that just came to my head, but last night I said phrase. <laughs> well, you didn't amend your answers. So, <laughs> okay. So uh, the next section is most likely. So most likely to die in a zombie apocalypse. Kelsey? I've already lost. <laughs> Kelsey, what did you say? Um, I said I would be most likely to die. <laughs> and then Bridget, what did you say? I said I would be the most likely to die. Well, yeah. I said you. So, yes, finally another point. <laughs> no, didn't you say yourself? Mm-mm. Yeah, I said me for me, but then I told I wrote that Bridget would say herself. Yeah, and then uh, Bridget also said that... No, Bridget said that you would say Bridget. So Bridget got the point. And did you... Get the point? No, because I said me. Because then I get that point. She got that wrong then. I'm so confused. No, I don't think she did. Because oh, I no, said no, me. You're right. You're right. Oh, you're right. You're totally right. I obviously am yeah. blind. You know, last night when I messaged in the group, I was like, wait, I'm confused. This was <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes. Ooh, what if, if I've made a few more mistakes, then we might have a different result. Oh, okay. So I have lost then. <laughs> that's, not, that's not what I said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next one is... Um, uh, oh, wait. I also just want to say that Bridget said for her answer for that one, she said herself, but honestly, we'd do something dumb and die at the same time. <laughs> we so would. Yeah. I could see that. Do you think in a real zombie apocalypse you would like want to be together? I think we work well together, so yeah. Yeah. I agree. What about me? Do I get an invite to this? Yeah. Yeah. You can uh, you'll be notified. We'll let you know on the day. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it is. By the way, I, I would be like, oh, I have to leave my house right now. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, next question is, who is the messiest? So, Kelsey, what did you say? I said me. And then, Bridget, what did you say? Yeah, I said me. Yeah, but I so... Said that Kelsey would say herself. And then, Kelsey, you said that Bridget would say... Oh, no? That, Br that Bridget would say Bridget. Oh, yeah, so, Kelsey, you got the point, but Bridget didn't. No, no, I said no yeah, yeah, it. yeah. You got the point. You guys, my math is so bad. Um, Wait, so who got the point? You both did. did. Oh. But I like that you both said... Wait. Oh. <laughs> no, you both said that you would be the messiest. Yeah. Yep. Which, like, who actually is the messiest, though? 
I think it's me still. I don't know. Just I reckon help, I am. Helping. I think it's just equal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. But every time you're like, oh, my house is so messy. But then you walk in and it's like spotless. There's like one thing on the bench. <laughs> like, oh, okay. So, no. yeah. But if I have anyone come over, I will spend all morning like cleaning. Right. <laughs> but like if you could see our house at the moment, <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> mm, I love that. Okay. So you both got the point. Next one. Most likely to cry during a movie. Kelsey, what did you say? I said me, but I'm unsure. <laughs> and then Bridget, what did you say? I said me. And then yes. Bridget, you said that Kelsey would say you. And then Kelsey, you, were you wrong. said. Yeah, and then Kelsey, you said that Bridget would say herself. Yes. So Kelsey got the point. Bridget did not. I'm making a comeback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. You might you are. Agree. Um, what movie do you always cry in? Is there one? Um, ooh. all of them. I uh, now I think yeah, Bridget probably would cry in movies. <laughs> what about Up? Um, up always. Bad. I was very heartless for a very long time when it came to movies. I never used to cry in movies, but now. <laughs> Now I will. Right. I'm more likely to cry during a TV show, I think. Oh, really? I feel like... Like, what kind of shows? I mean, like, when someone dies. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Okay, next one. Biggest gossip. (laughs) Kelsey, what did you say? (laughs) Charlie. (laughs) Yeah, you, you did say that, and I was like, yes, you're correct. But... Apart from me. <laughs> I said me, without a doubt. Yes. 100%. And then, Bridget, what did you say? I said Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> you both got the point. Although, I'm definitely more of a gossip than Kelsey is, for sure. Ooh, I feel like I'm a... Um, I mean, I think you are definitely a gossip, <laughs> but I think, I think I'm like a... I don't know, like a... I can't think of the right word, but like... A bit of a secret gossip. <laughs> like, I will, like, sniff out all the info and then I'll right. present it in a... But do you mean, like, more in the sense that you only gossip to, like, close friends or, like, certain oh, people? No, I, I think I gossip too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do that too, so... <laughs> I always feel Sorry, like Bridget. I... Bridget. <laughs> You're not. I always... Yeah, no, Bridget. Bridget's not a gossiper. I always feel like, actually, no, Bridget, that's not true. You have gossiped about some things. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I always feel like I, like, start talking and then I just, like, it's like I zone out and then I forget that I'm, like, speaking and then I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> yeah, mm. I do that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like maybe everyone does that. Okay, <laughs> next one. Most passive aggressive. This one was interesting. So, Kelsey, who did you say? I said me. And then Bridget. I said me. Yeah, but then, Kelsey, you said that Bridget would say you. Yeah. Well, that was wrong. (laughs) And then... (laughs) Oh, no, wait. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did. But then Bridget also said that you would say her. So I think you both... we're both pretty passive aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you both had, like, the opposite answers, which I thought was funny. I feel like you're not passive aggressive. Actually, I guess if you aren't overly aggressive, you have to be passive aggressive. I think... Because uh, my thought process when I wrote myself was... The amount of times in, like, third year and, like, you know, when we're working for companies and stuff and even with, like, um, emailing teachers and stuff, if stuff had gone wrong, we were always good at writing very passive-aggressive emails. (laughs) Ah. 
I feel that's like that's why I wrote myself, but right. I feel like I that's know. acceptable in an email, though. Like yeah, it's kind of you yeah, you have to be like it's deserved. You know, they deserve that. As per my last email. Oh, I love all of those where it's like <laughs> what it actually means. It means like yeah. you didn't read my last email. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the next section which is just random. I titled it. This was hard because it wasn't just like <laughs> a name. This or... was very hard. And like, uh, although there were a few points given, but it's, yeah, you kind of just had to like guess what you think the other person would react. So the first one was, how do you spend a day off work? So Kelsey, what did you say? One of my various hobbies. <laughs> and then Bridget, what did you say? Sleeping. Mm-hmm. But then, so Bridget, you said that Kelsey would watch Twilight slash play with Pippa. And I would kind <laughs> of, I kind of counted that as like her hobbies. So I gave Bridget the point for that one. What? Do you okay. not think so? When do you I not think that's acceptable? Yeah, yeah, that's what you would do, Kelsey. <laughs> you would so watch Twilight. <laughs> would, but that's not what I answered. <laughs> Okay, you know, um, maybe I'll take the point of Bridget then. When I oh. meant my hobbies, I meant the whole thing of like, and like Bridget, you would you would know this as well. Like, I make journals, and then I'll decide to knit, and then I'll decide to learn a new language, and then I'll decide to right, right, go rollerblading. <laughs> like I just, I have the attention span of like I don't know. Something with a short attention span. A kid. <laughs> Goldfish. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but Kelsey, you said for Bridget spending time with Chelsea. <laughs> Which isn't wrong. <laughs> See, I feel like what you yeah. both answered for the other person is true, but that's not what you, like, answered for yourself. <laughs> yeah. I think it's because, like, we know each other more than we know ourselves. <laughs> mm, yeah. Well, right based on the answers of some of these, that's not true. <laughs> okay. Oh Next one. Um, if you could travel to <laughs> this one, made, made me laugh. If you could travel to any country in the world, where would you go? I'm gonna let you know. None of you got any of the answers right. So, Kelsey, <laughs> what did you say? Scotland. And then Bridget, what did you say? England. And then Kelsey... I was gonna say that. Oh, well, you didn't. So Bridget, you said for Kelsey that she would say America, which was wrong. And that then, was John's choice. <laughs> oh, and then Kelsey, you said for Bridget, Greece. I was gonna change my answer to Greece. Because okay. <laughs> I thought about, like, the whole Mamma Mia thing. And that was my, that was the reason I wrote Grace. <laughs> oh, do you want to live the Mamma Mia fantasy? Oh, uh, yes. I feel like we all so. do, you know? Okay, next yeah. one. Um, <laughs> this one made me laugh as well. Your friend makes a very mean joke at your expense. How do you react? So, Kelsey, what did you say? I said, <clears throat> laugh to avoid conflict, but then go bitch to Bridget about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bridget, what did you say? I said I would laugh and then hide and cry. Yeah. <laughs> I was yes. like, I was gonna add that into my answer. <laughs> yes. But then Bridget, you said for Kelsey laughs. No, Bridget, you do the imitation. All right. <laughs> I feel like Kelsey, you do say that a lot. I do. <laughs> Yeah. Is that like your like, your saying that you're known for? I guess. <laughs> it's like whenever someone says something a bit like, you know, kind of iffy, and then you're like, all right. <laughs> Calm down, all right. I could hear Kelsey saying that. But then, Kelsey, what did you say for Bridget? You said... Uh, I, I said laugh, like, you know, to avoid conflict, um, but then go bitch to Chelsea about it. <laughs> Also true. So I gave both of you the point for that because you both said laugh in all of your answers. So I was like, yeah, that's, you know. Okay, Ooh. next one. A tsunami hits and you're trapped on the roof of your house. What do you do, Kelsey? 
<laughs> I said, get comfy and maybe jump to some other roofs if they look more comfy until someone saves me. <laughs> Bridget, what did you say? I said, jump in. <laughs> you no. were just ju- wrong. <laughs> you were just jump in the water. Yeah. Have you never been taught that if there's like a flood, <laughs> don't get in the water? <laughs> um, yeah, that wasn't like my thought process though. <laughs> Have you seen that movie, The Impossible, with the tsunami? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. Don't get in the water. <laughs> Watch more films. Um, but then, <laughs> but then, Bridget, you said that Kelsey would get sunburnt. So I kind of gave Bridget the answer because I was thinking that Kelsey, if you're like sitting on the roof getting comfy, you might get some. That is a stretch. (laughs) (laughs) But it's true. Yes, I would get some, but that is not what I said. (laughs) Okay, I'm okay. I'm removing. I'm removing the point. What if there was a tsunami in a place where there wasn't? It wasn't. That is true. You probably wouldn't get sunburn. Yeah. Mm, You were saying last time when we went out at nine o'clock, I'm going to put on sunscreen because I'm going to get sunburned. (laughs) (laughs) Is that true? I do wear sunscreen a lot. Yes. I just learned the other day that uh, apparently girls wear not sunscreen. But like SPF related things, like all the time. Is that true? Um, I don't really put anything on my face. Like I don't really wear makeup a lot. But if it's a sunny day, I'll definitely put just sunscreen on. But you can get like moisturizers and stuff with SPF. Yeah, right. like my makeup has SPF in it as well. Right, so, because see, like, yeah, yeah, my friend was like, um. Oh my God, we have 10 minutes left of the meeting. I normally have premium, but my mom stole my account today. So anyway, oh, um, really? yeah, my friend the other day was like, oh yeah, Charlie, it's weird that you don't wear like sunscreen every day. I'm like, why would I? I don't know. I just it's had really never thought. good for you. I know. <laughs> I just had like never thought about that. I guess girls, when they have like SPF in their makeup, they don't have to worry about it. Anyway. Okay. So... And then Kelsey, you said that Bridget would get comfy and wait for help, which was wrong. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know what she would say. I didn't think she would say jump in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was okay. gonna say I was what? gonna say drown, but I'm like, that's a bit morbid. So <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a survival instinct? Like, come on. No, no I have no survival instincts. Okay. Well, I think mine is most logical. Like, what else are you going to yeah. do? You're not, you can't yeah. jump in. What are you going to do? Because originally I wrote the question as... Um, how, did I, how did I read it here? I wrote it as the water was rising. And then I was like, well, obviously they're both going to answer that they have to get in the water. Yeah, right. But then I changed it because I was like, it needs to be more vague. Anyway, this is the last question. All right. So it's... What is your biggest pet peeve? Kelsey, what did you say? I said, people who don't tell it straight, be honest to me, peeps. Bridget, what did you say? I said, uh, people who don't know the difference between your and your. Yep. So, (laughs) Bridget, what did you say that Kelsey's biggest pet peeve is? Uh, People who don't message back for important things. So... You got it wrong. I mean, yeah. Is that, but... <laughs> that's probably true, though. And then, Kelsey, what did you say for Bridget? Uh, dishonesty, too. Well, you got both of those wrong. <laughs> Even though, are they all... Are they, is that true, though? Do you hate dishonesty, Bridget? Yeah. And I was going to write just, like, mean people, but I'm like, that's too general. I was so <laughs> close to just writing mean people for Bridget. <laughs> I feel like the both of you, like... It, like had all the answers but you just overthought it yeah Yeah. Yeah. and that's also very us (laughs) yeah that is very you so um now okay so originally when (laughs) i was obviously wait hang on i'm trying to read read my things so originally i think bridget had won it but yeah so originally i gave bridget 10 points and then as we went through uh, I took some of those off and then 
for Kelsey, I gave you, I think, one extra point, I think, or maybe two. So basically, um, it's a tie. (laughs) (laughs) Of course. You all, you all got seven correct each, which like, well, maybe I should just think of a question to like break the tie right now. And if you both get, how about I say like, no, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I was going to say, how about I say a category and if you both say the same thing, but it doesn't make sense because you would both win. Uh, <laughs> Let me think of a question and then how about you don't answer for yourself, you just answer for the other person and then we're going to say, yeah, that's correct or that's not right. Okay. Yep. Um, okay. Let me think. Um, oh, God. If you think of a question, tell me. This is such bad. I'm such bad. I mean, I can think of a question, but like (laughs) then obviously is it one that you because I yeah I'm gonna know the answer for (laughs) Bridget. Like that's why I would pick it. Right, right. (laughs) How about um? Why don't we do favorite subject at university? So you Don't only answer, answer you only answer for the other person. Don't answer for yourself. Okay. So I don't Bridget, know what my favorite subject was. <laughs> okay, well if how about if Bridget says the subject and you go yes or no? Okay. Bridget, name a subject that you think Kelsey's favorite subject was. Uh, the shooting shorts. I mean <laughs> What what was that one? <laughs> was that? Oh, what? My God! <laughs> was that second semester? One. It was the oh, short yeah. film one. I mean, I just feel like I didn't enjoy uni that much. Okay. <laughs> well, so that's I a mean, no. It was a good subject. Okay, <laughs> okay, Kelsey. Guess but what I... Bridget's favorite subject was? I would have said. Um, Shooting shots as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously this is not good. Okay, I've got a question we can do. Okay, please. We have four minutes oh, left, so hurry. Okay, yeah. So we go through um, their chosen alcoholic drink, but we keep going until someone goes, ah, no, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't drink that. Okay. okay, I like that. Go. Bridget will win one hundred percent. But <laughs> well, then why are you doing? Okay, just go, just go. <laughs> okay, who do you want to go first? <laughs> you go Kelsey. first. Okay, uh, Bridget, you would drink mercury. You would drink a vodka raspberry. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, you would drink. Oh, oh, tequila shots. Uh, you would drink UDL. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> You would drink literally any shots. Um, I, <laughs> um, I think you would drink... I'm going to go risky here. A... Oh, like a vodka and soft drink. We make them all the time. What kind of soft drink? Oh. Uh... We have three Lemonade. minutes left. Hurry. Yeah, boom. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was going to say a cruiser for you. Mm. No? No? I would not drink a cruiser. I can't tell you the last time I had a cruiser. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Yeah, no. Okay, so, Kelsey, Kelsey, name one more thing Bridget would drink, and then I'll say that you won. Um, uh, Risky. A Jack and Coke. Yeah. You win. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, Kelsey. You Thank win. You. you win the knowledge of being the winner. <laughs> um, right. But yes, I both hope that you had so much fun today. I was gonna say if it was an actual tiebreaker, we could just do another round another day. Even we probably could just do that. Yeah, we could probably do that. But um, 
You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Charlie Wright. Charlie has two R's in it. And you can follow this show on Instagram at Always Right Podcast. But um, thank you both for being here. Hope you had fun. Thanks for having us. Okay. Um, I'll let you know when this episode goes up. It'll be soon though. Okay. Until next time. Bye.